Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. The patch rundown today. I know the update came out a couple weeks ago, but I think it came out earlier for iPhones than it is Androids. And also, they just released a new smaller patch with pretty big updates. So if you're new around here, get subscribed. If you play the game, want more updates, tips, tricks, all that good stuff, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if this is interesting. But first big thing, they added a new ballpark, Great Nine Park. We see here left field, right field is going out to 351 feet. Center field, 416 feet. The fence is 10 and a half feet tall. So by far the largest stadium to date. You can see this stadium. I got this stadium. It's a great stadium. And a few notes, I have a video doing my first impressions of this stadium. But I will say, if you haven't seen that yet, this stadium, a lot higher chance of getting triples. Pretty much any time if your player is decently fast, you hit the ball deep into the outfield, you're going to get a triple just because um, the ball rolls so far out there and the outfielders just have to run a ton to get back out there. Uh, really easy time to get triples. And also the stadium is just huge and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it is kind of similar to, I think, T-Mobile Park in Seattle. But with that said, it's a nice stadium. A lot of triples, as you can see right off the bat. Got a triple. Easy money. Uh, before the other stadiums... It, I got players with speed, right? I got players with 100 plus speed, and it was very hard to get a triple. Now, you can get triples easy, left and right, all day. I'd say doubles are harder than triples now, even, um, because it's either going to roll all the way back there, as you can see here, another triple. And this also makes the way, if you're up for the challenge inside the park home runs, I got a couple of those. Go check out the highlights. But that's the first big update. The second update, this was a two-parter. So with this new update, a healthy update, originally came out, it came out and there was a huge nerf to hitting. So what that means is that it became a lot harder. A lot of people noticed it became a lot harder to hit home runs with the power swing, with the contact swing. And this was true. Before, with my team, uh, I can probably get maybe, you know, four home runs, three, four home runs a game pretty easily. After the update, maybe only one to two. And I've been playing this game a long time, and I've gotten a feel for the hitting mechanics. And every time I hit the ball, it just felt different. Like, when you play this game for two and a half, three years, or longer for some people, when you hit the ball... You kind of expect, you know, based on the timing of it, based on what type of pitch, based on where you actually made contact with it. Um, it's kind of like, it's a weird, it's hard to describe, but you get a feeling of like, oh, it feels like, even though we're not like actually, you know, hitting the ball, this is just a video game. You feel the contact, feel the contact, and you can kind of say like, oh yeah, you know, that felt like, you know, pretty good. Um you know, hard hit ground ball or deep fly ball, or that just felt like a home run or it just looked like a home run. But that was not the case. Um, things just felt a lot more muted. So you hit something, it's like before the update, it felt like a home run. Now, maybe just a long fly ball, maybe not even back to the fence or something. So after that, a lot of people reached out and uh, had some comments on the Play Store and the, on, on the update and I think the developer saw that and noticed it and to be honest it could be just the money talking because they're making this game they're making money out of it so people are unhappy that's my hot take if people are getting unhappy if people stop playing the game stop buying the items then they make less money and the whole point is they're a company they're making this game they're trying to make money off of it so they decided, after reading the comments, after hearing the feedback on that update, uh, to kind of dial things back a little. So they reversed the update. There was a smaller update in the store. They called it like a minor bug fix. So outside of the major updates where they add like new stadiums or add new mechanics, like they're adding injury back when they added injuries last year, they just call the minor patches bug updates. They don't actually say what exactly the bug is that they're updating. Um... But we saw that come in, and now ever since then, I think they actually went too far in the other direction. So, the patch, we're over here. Things are pretty hard. Couldn't really get as many home runs as before. People thought that, you know, maybe they're not having as much fun with the game. Now, we're all the way over here on the other side of things. Um, arguably, 
too many home runs if that's even a possibility. So, for example, in my experience, right, my team, before the highest runs I've ever scored in a game was about 28. Now I'm putting up 50 run games, 60 run games. I'm having games, I had a game the other day, I hit 19 home runs in one game. And I've been playing this game for years. This has never happened to me before. And this was before I got the update. So you see here, you know, I got this new team. If you're following along with the channel, I got this new team, all five players. I'm talking about before the team update. There were a couple days in between with the new update with my old team where I was getting home runs through the roof. And also not just home runs. When we think about home runs, we think about doing power hit. Right, I generally say if you're going for a home run, use power hit. We're getting home runs with contact hits, just normal hits, nothing special, more home runs than before. Before, it was very, very rare to get a home run when you're not using power hit. But now, even if I'm just using contact, maybe a couple times a game, I can get a contact home run. That's pretty easy. So that was also a difference that I noticed. And... A couple other things, smaller items, those were the two major items, the mechanics, you know, the new stadium and the power hitting um, distances, they tweaked that. A couple other things that we've noticed, people have noticed throughout the community are there's no resetting anymore. So before a couple of years ago, I had this great video, a guide on what to do when things are going wrong and you need to reset the game. Let's say you're pitching a perfect game or in the top of the ninth inning, you give up a run, you give up a hit, what happens? Or you're losing, and the game is for a diamond badge, you're losing the game, ninth inning, you get three outs, uh, what do you do? Right? Before, you could actually quit the app, exit out of the game, force quit the game, reset the app, and then load it back up, and then it would actually start you back at the top of that inning that you were in. So if you were in the bottom of the eighth, um, you were batting, two outs, it would put you bottom of the eighth, no outs. You would have a clean start. So if you were going for like a perfect game or you were trying to win the game, whatever the case may be, you'd be able to have a chance to reset it. But now they've changed it a little bit. So if you close the app and you reset it, it only goes back to the start of the app bats. So let's say it's two outs, you decide to reset, two outs, full count. You decide to reset the app. It's not going to go back to no outs in the same half of the inning. It's going to go back to still two outs, but the count's going to be in. So you're going to have a new fresh at bat. So if something's already happened before, let's say you're going for a perfect game in that half inning, you already gave up a hit, you can't go back. That cannot be redone as of now. Um, if you're losing the game and you want to win, um, it might be you know a little more work. to You have to reset it more often, but you could still get a redo at the at bat. That still might be possible. So that's kind of another under the hood, under the radar update. I know it wasn't really advertised because um, it's always been kind of like a bug. Some like, you know, you have to go out of the way to um, try to reproduce this. So that's another thing. And I've also noticed um, the pitching changes. My pitchers now will pitch longer throughout the game. Um, if you're still blowing out games like 50 to the zero, you're still going to get to the end of the bullpen. The opponent's still going to have a pitcher in there with the zero help that you're just going to hit home runs off of um, when you get to that point. But I, I feel like they do go longer if you don't step in and manually change them. So, you know, some people also said there's some issues. There's some new bugs. Um, there's some issues with errors not being recorded and things like that. But I haven't come across that myself. I've seen people in my Discord talk about a new glitch that you can do where you pop the ball off foul territory. The catcher goes to get it. You can mess around and get some free bases off of that. I haven't had a chance to do that. But the big, big updates, we're talking about the new stadium. We're talking about the new contact hits. And that's the main point of discussion. So that was a quick summary, but for the rest of the video, I just want to talk about, is the game too easy now? People ask me, has the game become too easy? Should they tune it back? I agree. After the first update, the game was a little bit too hard. I would say most people, you know, we're playing the game for fun. There's no online mode. There is no competition. All right. It's, it's a single player game for the most part. You're there to have fun. So I, I think that was a little, they took it a little too far where, 
yeah, I can see that people weren't really having fun with it anymore, but now you're getting blowouts after blowouts after blowouts. Now the game to some people is not fun anymore because there's no there's no challenge. And even before, people have been playing this game a long time. After you get to World One League, there's nothing else. If you're looking for a challenge, you might just stop playing because there's nothing else for you. So for beginners, I would say this is a great move by them to attract new players, to keep players interested, because who doesn't love just hitting home runs, right? There are so many people that ask me how to hit home runs. There are guys out there, how to hit home runs. Home runs, home runs, home runs. That's the exciting part of baseball. Even in normal baseball, like actual MLB baseball, home runs are exciting. That's the most exciting play that can happen, right? So that making home runs easier does make it more exciting for some people, but for others not. So that's where kind of my opinion comes down on this it it really depends on you as a player and how what you want to get out of this game if you're somebody who loves the competitions when you go play game you set everything to hard mode bare bones survival mode you're there to have a challenge you're there to be challenged you're there to play against an all-star lineup with a high school team all right that's what you're there to do you're going to take the challenges it's like my challenge tuesday series I have insane challenges. I play with my eyes closed. I play with the game upside down. I play with all recruit players. If you haven't seen that playlist, go check it out. Get subscribed. I have a challenge playlist, over 100 videos. If a challenge is what you're looking for, then yes, this game is not really fun for you anymore, especially if you already had a good team. It's just even worse. It's even less of a challenge. But if you're somebody, and I will say, there's no right or wrong. All right, everybody plays the game at their own pace. People play the game differently. So don't go out there and criticize somebody just because they like hitting home runs. They like blowouts, 50 to 0, 100 to 0. There is no right or wrong answer. As I said, this is a single player game. There is no multiplayer mode, so it does not matter. It literally doesn't matter if someone else likes hitting home runs and you like a challenge, right? Whatever suits you. So for the person who loves hitting home runs, who just wants to play to have fun, no stress, have blowouts, inflate their stats, then this is awesome. This is a great update. So it really just depends on where you are on that spectrum. And for now, it seems like the developers have sided with those who want an easier gameplay because I do understand a lot of younger people play this game and it can be more difficult to new players or to um, some of our younger audience out there. So I do understand it. Which brings me to the point, um, the one thing I would wish for, and I will be making an updated Base Online wish list. I, my last wish list video did pretty well. I think you guys had some more suggestions and I've had some more thoughts since then. Obviously, online mode is another discussion, but specific to the difficulty of the game, I would like to see them maybe allow you to choose a difficulty because it's clear that they're able to change the difficulty on the back end. That's an update that they can change with the game. So maybe if you start a new league, you win playoffs, you go to a new league. When you select a new league, you should also be able to select a difficulty. Maybe they can have easy, medium, hard. And you know, easy mode, maybe the opponents are a little easier. Um, the power settings, the hitting settings are a little bit easier. The opponents, um, batting, pitching is a little easier. Whereas on the hard mode, they can literally make the other teams in your league harder. So make them have better players, make their uh, pitchers better, their defense better, and have it harder for you to hit home runs, for you to hit those insane, you know, 10, 20 home run games. And medium, obviously, in the middle somewhere. So clearly, that's something they can do. I would like to see that as a setting that you can pick. So this way, you can get what you want. Single player game, you're not playing online against anybody else. You choose. I want to have an easy time. Maybe you're a beginner. Maybe as you play the game, you want a challenge. You can always change it. I think options are always a great thing. I'd like to see that being implemented. And even with like an online mode, um, I think something like Madden Mobile where they have online leagues, it starts out at rookie, goes up to like 
pro, all pro, all Madden. The difficulty goes up in the higher level. So even if it, there was an online mode, it could still be easier when you start out and it gets harder and harder and harder. So I know this video is a bit long. The update itself, uh, stadium, new mechanics, talked all about it, some other minor things, and my thoughts on what they should do with the difficulty settings. Let me know your comments on it, what you think about the game now. Do you think it's too easy? Do you think it's too hard? Do you like those challenges? Do you like having close games? Or do you like hitting home runs? Like I said, there's no wrong answer, but I'm curious to see your opinion on this. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Like the video, get subscribed. We'll send you off with the whole run. Peace.